you and I'm joined by Dr. Justice Tankabi and he is a lecturer in criminology, University of Cambridge and joins me by phone. Good afternoon, uh, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, so the IGP has warned that acts of indiscipline within the service would not go uninvestigated and unpunished. Is this warning, uh, in, uh, is it late in the day or it's apt? Um, I, you will hear from his speech that he emphasized the need for officers to work in ways that will build uh, public confidence in the police. And once you talk about public confidence, uh, you cannot uh, run away from the issue of uh, accountable and disciplined uh, police service. So his encouragement to officers to act in ways that will promote uh, professionalism or act in ways that uh, would encourage the public to have that confidence in the police is a good uh, call. Uh, but of course, the challenge is always how we translate uh, that call into practice. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do we actually make sure yeah. that officers work according to the code of ethics, to the the laws that govern their work? That remains the key challenge. And um, and and, and, and how best can that issue be addressed? Because uh, in recent past, we've seen uh, you know civilians, you know, at arms with uh, the police, and some of these issues are quite worrying. So, how best can we we deal with such issues? I think if we want the officers to behave in a particular way, such as what he's saying, that um, relate to the public in ways that build confidence, avoid misconduct, then the training of officers must reflect those issues. We have to train officers in ways that places the issue of public confidence, the issue of police legitimacy at the heart of the content of their training. Uh, and so that's the first thing we need to do. The secondly, we need to ensure that supervision of officers is uh, good enough. I think uh, at the moment, and it's not just with the Ghana Police Service, supervising frontline officers is often difficult. But we need to do more to encourage um, better behavior uh, through effective uh, supervision. And he also mentioned that officers who misconduct themselves will be thoroughly investigated and if found uh, guilty, the administrative sanctions will follow. And I think uh, all the police need to do more of that. And when they do sanction officers, they should let us know that exactly. these are the sanctions mm -hmm. that have been uh, applied to officers who misconduct themselves. And I think doing all that will help to encourage uh, uh, the confidence. And we also know, of course, that the police recently mentioned that they're trying to introduce uh, body worn cameras. Uh, okay. And this might help to deal with some of the, of course, obvious issues that we find on the streets. And uh, thanks so much uh, for, for talking to us, Dr. Justice uh, Tankabi, on that particular development.